Good morning. Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy and it is the 1st of September today. I'll be doing this reading for you and it's the first day of spring here down under in Australia. I'm so excited. I love spring. All my flowers are coming up. I get very excited. The weather's warming up. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love it. Um, so if you are new to my channel, I just let my guides channel through to you pretty much. We do discuss a lot about the Great Awakening process as well as current global energies. So um, I'll close my eyes and we'll get started. Oh, and just before I get started, I don't know if any of you guys, I was talking about um, the song yesterday. I think it was in the morning about um, She Blinded Me With Science. And if anyone went and watched that film clip, because I always tell us to go and check out the music, um, right at the end of that video, the, the, the person in the video got their comeuppance and the word comeuppance even came up. And you know I use that word a lot on this channel um, because it means things catch up with you eventually. And that was sort of pretty much the meaning of that song and I thought it was pretty significant to see that word comeuppance <laughs> come up on the end because it's not a real common kind of um, word, is it? But that's what that little video clip she blinded me with science was about they sort of got their justice in the end so I guess we've got to take from the guide some of the messages they're giving to us sometimes because often there is a meaning and even in songs so I'm um, going to close my eyes now I just wanted to share that with you guys so maybe go check out that film clip I've left it on my Facebook page Chrissy Fitzgerald Psychic Life Coach if anyone's interested in tapping on there and following me on Facebook I do put some little things on there often our songs go on there um, so I'll close my eyes, we'll get started, and we'll see what comes up. I'm getting it. These people, they're downtrodden. These people waking up, they're downtrodden. It's this body language. They're all slumped shoulders, doom and gloom, because they know where their life is headed now. <clears throat> and when you know your life is being dictated to... Your life is being taken from you and very quickly and snatched away. You're going to feel downtrodden. So this is why I keep saying they're at the fork in the road now. They have to make choices. Oh, did I tell you there's some stuff going on here in Australia that popped up on my feed yesterday. And it's by Monica, this woman who was arrested during the Melbourne protests. Um, she was actually the opposition um, during the lockdown period. She, she actually was the opposition party. Um... A few of you here might know her and she was arrested and put in jail for 22 days because, around, for incitement around the Melbourne protests. Anyway, it popped up yesterday. They're doing a global walkout. I don't know if any of you guys know anything about it. I've only just discovered it. So fingers, this is the September event, but apparently there's something happening. I'm not sure what's going on. I'll keep you up to date. Um, you guys might know something about it. If you do, let us all know down below. But apparently there's a global walkout, meaning um, people walking out on government. Can you imagine? Oh, I'd love it. So fingers crossed, this all comes to fruition. So that popped up yesterday. I'm not sure of her last name. Her name's Monica. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know her um, YouTube channel. I'll, I'll let it. I'll give it to you this afternoon in my next video and you can go and check her out and give us some likes and maybe start sharing some of that information. Um, you know, maybe the Aussies are starting to shift things globally. You never know. <laughs> Someone has to do something, don't they? So this is what I'm getting. These people are at that fork in the road. They have to make a decision. Do I give my life over to government, which they already have for pretty much three years, as we know, or do I get off, climb out of the swimming pool away from the sharks, like I said yesterday, and get away from government and that's what I'm getting here at the moment so that's where we're at <laughs> um, so there's a lot going on um, hang on I get excited when things are kind of shifting up oh and yes I've got to tell you nurses strikes here today huge nurses strikes yes about all the time they're blaming just the work shortages and that everybody's sick and people are ringing up with CV and all this, you know, no one can get to work. Nothing ever mentioned, and I know you guys experience it too, very frustrating. Nothing mentioned about mandates and how they sacked everybody who wouldn't get the and comply. We know how it went. Oh, but no, not a mention of that. Mandates had nothing to do with it, did they? The fact that they sacked everybody. Oh, my 
God, it just goes round and round, doesn't it? One, they, these government, <laughs> see, this is where the government leaders didn't think far enough ahead, did they? Nor the people who were complying because they didn't realise that this was all going to come back and backfire on them. And now here they are, the ones having to protest. That's what I'm saying. These battles are not our battles anymore. They're having to battle now and stand up because they're realising, hang on, something's not right. And they know they created it. Gosh, you make your own bed and now you've got to lay in it. That's what's happening with these people who are all striking and standing up. Oh, anyway, that's part of the waking up journey. As we know here on my channel, you've got to go through your <laughs> emotional journey to get to the other side, like we always say here, of the mountain. You've got to climb up the mountain to get to the top. And if you want to choose to go to the other side. Um, so I'll just see what else we get. Hang on a sec. They can't. People can't believe this is happening. This cannot be real. People can't believe this is real. Look, we know there's a portion of the population that is completely stuck in the mass psychosis because it was so clever. And, you know, example, my mother, who just believes everything she sees on the news. Um, and these people, a lot of the elderly, you see a lot of them in mass. You see people in mass and you know straight away, oh, they're stuck in the mass psychosis. We know that. You can visibly pretty much tell who's stuck in the mass psychosis. But I tell you what, a hell of a lot aren't in it anymore. And I keep saying that a lot of these people work in these industries. We know it. Farmers. I keep saying it. Um, building industries that are now collapsing, like that have been, been functioning for like 30, 40 or more years. How can this all be crumbling? See, this is what people are starting to wake up to, that it's not making sense it doesn't make sense so there's a hell of a lot of people who just cannot believe that this is real they can't believe the reset's real they can't believe klaus is real they can't believe their government is trying to take over their lives and control everything um they can't believe it's real they can't believe and the biggest part of all of this is that they were lied to they were lied to by the government they were lied to by the media we know they're still getting lied to by the media because who owns all the media big corporate and all the the wealthy and all the well to do you know in america brought to you by pfizer on every channel well we know who owns everything big pharma and you name it so this is why people can't believe this is happening not realizing that they're owned by all these people oh this is how it all works so that's what we've got we've got these people just in disbelief that this can be happening to their life but it is happening and they want to open their eyes, showing me again that cartoon eyes, where people are just like horrified. <clears throat> and you imagine if you don't know what you've put in your body, your kid's body, your children's body. Because of course, you're not seeing the Pfizer data because that's getting pushed down the algorithms and hidden away. People have been getting strikes for bringing out that Pfizer data and the CDC information. They're being... Um, um, struck down and taken off YouTube for two weeks. What? Because they're sharing the truth. That's all documented paperwork. Why is, why is that not out there for all to see? Hmm. Well, you know, we do have to wonder. And people need to be held accountable for all of this. Now the CDC is it that's talking about like the miscarriages and how so many people have miscarried due to the jab. And we know it's affected people's menstrual cycles. A lot of people have had trouble with that. But now they're actually admitting that it's probably not the best thing for pregnant women to take the jab. Well, after you gave it to all those pregnant women, I know two that have miscarried. So how's that work? It's all too late for them, isn't it? Anyway, we'll just keep on keeping on and spreading our information and, and doing the things that we need to do to keep feeding it to these people so they start to see their reality and where it's headed. But fork in the road they've got decisions to make big decisions to make now um hang on let's see what else we get <sighs> i'm getting it germany france belgium munich um the netherlands sweden switzerland england there's a lot coming over you guys now um <sighs> i feel like you're going to get hit hard again we know that they've laid off a little bit with the reset. They've settled things down a bit. But I feel like now they're going to start to bring the wave back over the people. Um, 
they're trying to squash the people well we know that's been happening for three years but they're trying to do it in a way that's more subtle it's like um, they're saying instead of the wave which they hit everybody with like a few months ago and it knocked people over it said they're going to try and bring this up gradually the reset up gradually so it's almost like they're standing people in a dam this is just an image they're <laughs> not literally and they're slowly going to fill the dam up with water so they're doing it in a more gradual way without hitting them and knocking them over they want people to remain calm and still so they can just roll out their reset so this is what i'm getting this is the image for all those regions um they're, they're hitting you hard but it's a it's going to be sort of a more they're hitting you hard with all their agenda we know that but they're going to try and bring it out softer and and more slowly like filling up a dam with water um <clears throat> all the while drowning the little people as we know and taking them like right out of the equation basically um so people have to swim for their life now that's what's happening it's like it's going to end up being that panic mode where suddenly you know the water's rising 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 if, i guess we could relate it to a flood couldn't we because they've been so extreme lately Hmm, could be a bit of cloud seeding involved. We know that definitely goes on. Um, and it's that water's rising. Um, I don't think, I'm not meaning literally you're going to get floods. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just comparing it to that image of flood waters rising, rising where it engulfs people. But that's what I'm saying. It's going to be done on that more subtle level, but it's still going to be done in a huge capacity. Um, this is the rollout agenda in all of those reason, regions I just mentioned. Um, so they are trying to implement things. I've had Germany for a while now. Um, so they're really trying to implement things in these places. Th this is it's, this is like a big area of the rollout. Um, it's like, a, yeah, it's like a, the wave coming towards you. But they're, like I said, because they hit people too hard, of course, people to wake up. So now they're going to try and do it with this softer approach which I said yesterday, they're trying to incorporate the people into the decision-making process, like you're doing a great job. You need to do this for your family and friends, you know. You need to be accountable for the your carbon emissions. We know how it goes. We know what's coming. Um, if you're on my channel, we all know what's coming. We're prepared for it. We see it. <laughs> we laugh about it, actually, because it's so ridiculous. But I am getting that sort of flood-like energy. They're going to start flooding people again. I guess you could say flooding them with their wonderful ideas but all the information's going to start flooding that's in those regions other regions will be getting it too um i'm getting britain england um lots of changes afoot there um they're hiding a lot from you guys over there. I do believe that. And I always talk about be careful of the royal family distractions. Um, we know at the moment how wonderful Meghan Markle's podcast is going. <laughs> exactly. Um, narcissist to the max. Has anyone listened to it out there? Oh, my gosh. It's so unbelievably self-centered. Um Oh my God, you got to go and check some of it out just for a bit of entertainment. But remember, all the time, a lot of distraction going on around the royals. Not that she's that royal, but she's still connected to it. So it's still classed in that royal category. Um, so just be aware of that. If you're living in those parts, this is a distraction for what's really going on over here. As we know, um, when there's always distractions, which that podcast has been a pretty big distraction. God, we're hearing all about it over here in Australia. So I imagine you guys over there are really getting a lot of that fed on your feeds. And remember, all the feeds are controlled, all the algorithms. So they're only going to give you what they want you to focus on. We know how it goes. So just be aware of that, that that means there's other things going on in the background. Um, just let me see what else there is today. Now this message is for you guys watching my channel. <clears throat> We've got to not get disturbed by all of this, everything that's going on on i always talk about us remaining in the eye of the storm meaning in the center of the storm where there's always that sense of like peace and calm and we stay out of that chaos energy that's swirling around us because we're not part of 
the storm anymore. Um, that's what I'm still getting. We have to remain in that very quiet, calm, peaceful place. Whether that means you meditate, whether that means you take yourself out in nature. Some people go camping, Chris, out there. I know you love to do that. We all do different things to make sure that we keep us in this kind of now headspace. And that's very important moving forward in the next couple of months. Because it keeps saying to me, there's going to be this that I still get that uprising like energy of people's vibration really shifting. Let's hope it's all these people waking up, um, their pain bodies start to settle and they start to come out that other side. I did say they've been scrambling up that mountain for a while trying to get to the top to find that bit of peace and tranquility back in their lives because they've got to fight for it now. We don't. We're not in that fight anymore. Um, so I'm definitely getting that. Find that peaceful place in the next... I'd say two to three months, probably leading up to Christmas, there's going to be a lot going on. Look, we can certainly participate. There's nothing wrong with that because we don't have fear around doing that. So it's it's not hard for us to do, whether we get our flags and we go and march or we get involved or we share information. That That's all healthy for us because that keeps us in our strength and power as well. Um, but you don't have to. If you don't, if you feel like you don't, want to choose that anymore that's fine as well so it's just a personal choice even for us we can choose you know we we know we can make those choices now because we've done it before so that's what i'm getting for you guys just to stay in that that center of eye of the storm where there's peace um let's see what else we get today now we're not to go looking back at the moment and i mean <sighs> When they're saying looking back, if any of this uprising or things happen and it starts to trigger things in us, it's very important that we keep looking forward and we don't look back um, because they're the things that can hurt us from the past. So this is why I always say to you, it's very important to only take positive memories um, from the past, not to um, hang back there with with our griefs and our sorrow and our loss of friends and, and all the hurts and things that we've been through, the vilification and all those things, we, we're not to look back at that now. In the next few months going forward, it's very important that we, we, we stay strong and that we stay focused and we have good like initiative in how to move our life forward, um, which I think we are. A lot of us are really getting into our vegetable growing and and. Um, we're stocking up supplies and we've bought silver and gold and a lot of us have done these sort of things we've brought down our finances and condensed our life into a more simplified manner i know a lot of us would love to shove the uh, smartphones um gosh i'm getting a new car as you know here guys and i had to just sort out the last paperwork finalities and all that of it <clears throat> and to prove my license i had to obviously send it off to the company and then I had to do the facial recognition. Oh, I was so mad. But I could not do it or I wouldn't have got the car because I had to prove who I was on the licence. So that just proves this facial recognition stuff has been going on for yonks. So it's one of those things that sometimes it just triggers in us that, oh, my God, what? It's already here. Like, all I could think when I had my face in the little circle was <clears throat> I was doing these ones virtually just going, it's already here. How do you escape it, you know? <laughs> they've been they've been tracking and tracing us for that long, haven't they? Got every app on our phones, probably got the facial recognition. And, and now, the latest, I know you guys would be aware of it too, you got to sign with your finger now when, <clears throat> at work when everyone, anyone delivers a parcel or whatever. <clears throat> as we know, lots of changes going on in the uh, postal um, industries as well. you got to sign with your finger now. You don't even need a pen. What is the if world coming to? Like, how hard is it to sign your signature with your finger? You do it different every time. But like I said to my husband, maybe they're picking up your fingerprint. Who knows? We don't know. These are the things I always think of whenever this is happening because I had to also sign with my finger. Like, this has just all happened so quickly, hasn't it? It's hard for us to keep up with and we even saw it coming, isn't it? I know. Let me know down below if you guys have been having these experiences. But it's just, just so strange, isn't it? To just think, oh my God, it's just rolling on out. The red carpet's out and it's all happening. Oh my lordy. Um, hang on, let's see if there's something to close with today. <clears throat> People are going to be fighting back. They are. People are fighting back. Oh, people have had enough of this nonsense and garbage and we're going to see this mass exodus 
from the narrative. And I guess you could say the guides are kind of saying like it's like chapter nine of the COVID agenda storybook, which we always talk about in years to come. Well, people will be reading it to their grandkids about these evil monsters that tried to take over the world. And and it's like chapter nine is about these, um, these uh, about them. It's called like mass exit, exodus, where the, the people just fight back against government. It's like the big um, revolt, like the big revolution. <laughs> oh God, fingers September is that. But it's like saying, yeah, we're at like chapter nine and now these people might start to be written out of the book. Oh, let's hope the great reset and Klaus and his plebs get written out of the book. I'd prefer that to happen. And then the the next few chapters is about everybody got their wonderful freedom back and they fought so hard and they lived wonderful lives in the mountains and they all got on really well. That would be our ideal story, but we know that there's a bit more of this story probably to go yet, a few more chapters. So number nine could be the the mass, um, or exiting, I guess you could say, of the, the dark tunnel. We always talk about them running out of the tunnel towards the light. So we're up to about chapter nine at the moment, according to the guides, called the mass exodus. Oh, I hope so. Fork in the road, remember, for these people, not for us. Hang on, I'll see if there's um, one last thing today. And it's saying, this is the thing, see, these people waking up, they're scared, but they're more scared of what's coming at them. They're more scared of seeing their life in a dictatorship. And they should be, because we all know how China runs and it ain't pretty, is it? So they're more scared of that and they're more scared of, like, um, oh, it's not even that, well, they're more scared of the control that government seems to be wanting. So it's either... <laughs> As, as much as they probably dislike a lot of us and don't like us, they now see that a lot of it's true and they're going to have to either abandon ship and run away from government um, towards us. Like I said, we were like the cowboys going through the western town and people were starting to come behind us. Well, now they're, they're starting to run behind us and they're showing me this video. <laughs> <laughs> they're showing me this visual, visual of us as the cowboy and we're like all... <laughs> And this is not with ego. You know I don't do anything with ego. This is with humility. We've got the guns and we're like leading people out of this quiet western town. And they're behind us. And then all of a sudden in chapter 9 of the COVID reset book, they're running past us. So they're even taking off faster than us. Like we've got this calm sense of, of cool, like, you know, um, is it Cool Hand Luke or something? Some cowboy that's all like calm but the people are now panicking and they're just running past us so there's like all this dust and and we're just like looking around going why are they running they don't need to run and panic but there's this energy of these people waking up are wanting now to take off and they're even running like we showed them the way but they've even run past us so a lot of them are really wanting to get out of this narrative now oh my god how funny are the guys hang on a sec i'll see if there's anything else <laughs> oh, I'm getting that song and this is for the people waking up it's actually not for us we, we can probably listen to it too is it climb every mountain from um, the sound of music because these people need to climb every mountain and start to get their freedom back and I think that's what the message is here today and it's interesting isn't it because we've all watched the sound of music with Julie Andrews I know you guys have it's set in the is it the Swiss Alps near Germany or I don't know it's somewhere or Germany somewhere like that I think it's the Swiss Alps oh it was so picturesque the movie's still really popular today um the Von Trapp family wasn't it and the thing is she taught those children how to live freely and that's what Julie Andrews was. So I guess I guess in some weird way, um, as people who are awake, we're like the kind of Julie Andrews. Um, <laughs> the Julie Andrews. Or oh, I don't sing like Julie Andrews. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But I'm definitely getting that song. Climb every mountain. La, 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 la. Maybe the nuns sang that, did that? The sisters or something. But anyway, um, that's the image I'm getting. This Julie Andrews on like up on the mountains and the, the kids behind her just being free. Um, she made them those checked 
um, outfits from tablecloths or curtains or something and they were suddenly they became free they lived this really regimented life and this is a good analogy actually with the dad they the kids there was about six or seven wasn't there seven I think and they lived this regimented life like soldiers he'd blow the whistle and it was all very regimented like these people have been doing with government and suddenly um, Julie Andrews showed them how to live freely and they sang and they um, rolled on the grass hills and they had fun and they laughed and and they um, they played and they had this freedom again and that's kind of it's sort of us isn't it if you think about it the joy that we found in the last probably I'd say six months to a year we've really found that freedom again and, and we are like sort of we were the children but now we've kind of become um julie andrews and we're showing these other people um because i always say we're that mirror reflection to them that they were lied to so they're kind of running past us now heading to the mountain because they're climbing every mountain as that song goes in um <laughs> in that that movie it's such a great movie isn't it the von trapp family i'm sure you all know it um the sound of music it's just brilliant isn't it but you know maybe we go and um, tap on some clips of this movie and and just see those little bits of ourselves in that and also now we've become the Julie Andrews <laughs> not singing wise like I said and um, the, the other people are, are really seeing that that joy in that place that we've taken ourselves to and now they're like running past us and wanting to go then they're heading to that mountain um, they are they want to get out they want to get out of their regimented life god can you blame them I couldn't have stood it Oh, I know you guys couldn't either. So I'm going to leave you with that today. The sound of music. Oh, such cute images, isn't it? All right, I'm going to say goodbye from Australia. Have a wonderful day, everyone. I'm off to the gym, trying to keep motivated now that it's spring. There's a spring in my step. So I'll say goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you very soon. Leave me comments down below. And let's go watch Julie Andrews. Or oh, is it the sisters? Climb every mountain. Let's go check it out. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.